Welcome to Good Mythical More. Epic battles in our minds. We can use our imaginations. Ten more story. First time we've done this in a while. Charlie. Wondered. What? F flavor. His. <laughs> 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 Sweet. Oh, <laughs> Finger. <laughs> Worried. His Charlie wondered what flavor his sweet finger worried <laughs> about. <laughs> Last word. Mm. Charlie worried what his sweet finger oh, no. worried about. Charlie, wa Charlie wonders what flavor his sweet finger worried about. <laughs> Correct? When, and there's one last word. Correct? No, you can't do that. <laughs> it's gotta be a... I, I can't make it grammatically <laughs> work. Worried about... <laughs> you seem to have an idea. Why are you like... <laughs> you gotta worry about something. Wor worried about... Correct. <laughs> Comma correct. Charlie wondered what flavor his sweet finger worried about, correct? <laughs> this is the worst one we've ever done. All of them are the worst. What would you say? What would you have in mind? They would have him worry about something. I didn't have an answer. Worry like, Charlie wonders what flavor his sweet about finger worried about. Fingers. <laughs> Just let the finger worry about something. We're worried about fingers. Yeah. Okay. Does that Charlie make you wonders happy? what flavor his sweet finger worried about fingers. <laughs> When you said worried, it really I couldn't. There's nothing we could do. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you, you sat we, did, maybe we just need to practice. We need to get. We need to workshop it. Yeah, yeah. Me ten, and you. Ten we, word stories. We need to. We need to rent a beach house, and we need to do nothing but ten, ten word, word stories. stories. Come back. We'll be good at it. What if we just did? What, what if we just did twenty four hours of ten word stories? We'd probably get really good at it and really Sounds bad like at it. Like a two thousand seven idea. Oh my. Yeah. 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 That ship has sailed. Okay, uh, we are going to take a look at some feuds. Give Stevie, it, give you're, us going, one. you're going to give, give us, us some one. feuds. We're going to tell you who would win an actual fight. Yeah, give I mean, us yeah, one. I'm going to give you some fictional fights. Okay, this and is you're good. Gonna have to decide this who yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Who would win between a baby covered in peanut butter versus a baby covered in jelly? So, how old are these babies? I mean, we're talking pre toddler, we're talking you can't walk. When you walk, you're not a baby. baby it's, tough. it's tough for babies to fight at that age. I mean, I, I I've don't, never seen a baby I've never seen fight. a baby get get violent. I mean, really. well, I've seen a baby like react violently, but a baby like but, but not like <coughs> but not hitting, not like if, taking if, its hand and actually hitting. Let's something. just imagine this: two babies are crying and like like you're know, like really doing this with their arms, and then you put them together to fight. You know, I think and, they would immediately embrace. No, I think they would just like if they're really young. Because if little babies had the potential to fight to that level, if you put two little babies in a crib, they would end up hurting each other, and that never happens. Right? Babies don't hurt each other. I think babies could hurt each other. Well, I think it would be. I don't have any problem. With I that. think it would be accident. I mean, I'm not betting on it or anything. I think I'm not like be, paying per view it. Listen, here's what I think. I think the baby in jelly would lose because. The moment that they started realizing they could fight, and maybe even like get up on their knees <coughs> to try to get better leverage, the baby with jelly knees would slip, and I think at that point you got to declare a winner once one of the babies falls. <laughs> so I mean, how else are you going to judge this? A baby becoming a toddler fights another baby and they're covered in. Let's I mean, say they're eighteen uh, months old. Well, what, what's the most inhumane part of this? Um, Babies can walk at six months. Sometimes, I mean, if they're early. I'm saying once they walk, they're not a baby. Well, that's not true. You see a seven-month-old that can walk. That's a baby. That's a toddler. And they can crawl at a couple of months. I don't okay. know. Yeah, they can crawl, so we can have a crawl saying, fight. Uh, yeah, I said get up on their knees for leverage. Okay. All right. All right. And then, they, then the jelly baby falls because Whoa. of the slippy. Babies are usually between nine and eighteen months old when they learn how to walk. Yeah, unless they're like you know gifted. You know, 
but, but parents put a lot of pressure on their kids, but it all it all comes out in the wash. Yeah. There's probably studies about it though. I mean, I'm not I don't I'm not familiar with them. You know, I mean, you didn't talk until you were what? In third grade? <laughs> yeah. Look at me now. <laughs> Can't shut up. No, my, my uh, What's the most immoral part of this? Covering a baby in peanut butter and jelly or getting them to fight? Fight, kids, fight. Um uh, I think the peanut butter guys stickier. I agree with you. So I'm and not I'm not making light of this. But allergies are not a not a thing in this in this scenario. No. Because allergies that would allergies be a are not a thing. Let me check. I mean if you put peanut butter on a baby allergic to no. it, then that's horrible. That that right. But that's not what happened. I've seen I've seen uh, babies put, slathering themselves in peanut butter. There is a famous famous peanut butter baby on the internet. Give us another one, Steve. but it wasn't fighting. So Jelly Baby would lose. Is what we is what I said. The entire TikTok hype house versus Inspector Gadget. How many people are in this hype house? Tell me more about the hype house. Let me see. Um. Inspector Gadget, I know about Inspector Gadget. And I think if you know a lot about Inspector Gadget, you don't know a lot about TikTokers. Mm -hmm. It's like those two things. Venn diagram. 20 of the biggest TikTok stars in the world. Well, here's the thing. If they were not currently filming it, they would not fight. You know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't actually, and Inspector Gadget could come in there and just have his go-go gadget arms and just be just raising hell on their heads and if they weren't like in the process of making a video, they would probably just run because it's not an opportunity. It's not an opportunity to leverage it for content. I don't think, I think this comes down to stamina really because they only have like a, you know, they only go for like a minute. That's true. Yeah. You know? So it's like, that's true. you know, even if you got 20 of them, that's 20 minutes. And then they try to cycle back in. You think they can recharge after 20 minutes? And, and and go in and, and on, you're on. assuming that he can only take out one at a time and I think oh, he can take out he can, he can take out maybe up to eight at I mean one time. all of the stuff that comes out of his hat alone could take out and half is, of that is this the cartoon version of inspector gadget or the live action version I was picturing the cartoon Let's version but the let me cartoon see version yeah yeah, yeah I think it's the yeah cartoon it's the cartoon version, version. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah definitely definitely um, gadget wins I mean I'm and I'm and I'm rooting for him <laughs> I, I never in all of the episodes that I watched, Gadget never really, he, he never really got that violent. But I think, right. I think in his spare time, he would, you know. He's gotta practice on something to be ready for the claw, Dr. Claw. He, used, he was more of a pacifist, I think. He's kinda like. He's an inspector. Yeah, I think, he's a food inspector, actually. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever watched the show? Yeah, he, he, just, he goes every week. He, he would goes go to, to a, different restaurants. Go to a restaurant. He'd like, yeah, he'd see how clean they were, um, and he would I, like a a gloved hand would come out of his hat, and he would like scrape the table and sniff it, and he'd give him a score. Right, it's very and then exciting television. His, his daughter Penny was much smarter than him. Yeah, and she Penny she knows that she knew how to um, how to turn it into a brand. You know, he sold T-shirts. Well, she sold T-shirts. It would say things like grade A. Right, 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 right. right. So uh, I think I'm gonna give this one to the TikTok house because I think Gadget's just too nice. He's capable, but he just can't he just can't follow through. He's his morals are too high. What about the next one? <laughs> Spider Man versus Wolverine. See now we're now we're in this like Superhero geek territory that makes me uncomfortable. This is like the back of a comic book shop. <laughs> yeah, there's, they'll talk there's, about this for days. There's people who talk, you know. So I, you know what? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abstain from this one because uh, who'd you say Wolverine? Wolverine would rip him to shreds. Yeah, Wolverine would kill him easily, easily. Yeah. Okay, here's one that I'm more interested in: all five Spice Girls versus. All seven dwarves. Oh. Now those dwarves have pickaxes, because they're miners. I mean, just, I mean, Scary Spice, um, I don't know, what, and nothing about her to me is scary. I think it's quite the opposite. Right. So, I mean, it's yeah, like, I never got picture that a pickaxe in her eye socket, you know? It's like, yeah. whew, she, I mean, that'll, that'll kill you instantly. But 
It's difficult to tell. Dopey sitting over there in the corner. How tall the dwarves are. Looking in the are, wrong direction. Because I'm not exactly sure how tall Snow White is. But if uh, I assume that Snow White. I read about this recently. Is of Eight average height. Two. <laughs> so if Snow White is. The dwarves were average height. If she's five, six, five, five. I'm trying to picture a dwarf next to Snow White. It's been so long. Kind of like this. Maybe half these. Okay, so a little over two and a half feet tall. I don't know, I feel like the Spice Girls, they were so in shape. You know, I mean, they could- Some more than others. They, they had platform heels. They could, platform heels, Chase is. They, I, I feel like they, they were, they're like one step away from being a highly trained like martial arts team. That's what they should have done. Well, I think they should, they Sporty Spice did like Tai Bo type stuff. That was how she danced. At her dancing? Yeah, she would dance like this. Well, then I'm gonna give it to them because you can take out maybe two to three dwarves with with a, with a couple of right hooks. They're ruddy, man. Ruddy guys. I mean, it's like it's, it's hard to bring them down. Low center of gravity. But only one, of, got, them, only got one of them is grumpy. <laughs> some are happy, some are dopey, some are sleepy. Some are doc. <laughs> right, he's just there, he's the medic. He doesn't even count. It's in case somebody gets hurt. Oh, he's so, the medic. So it's technically <laughs> six dwarves and one watching to wait and see who gets hurt. I buy a ticket to that. I mean, if I was going around Disney World and that was the show, I'd, I'd wait out front for an hour for that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I get in there, the Spice, Spice Girls, Girls are gonna. Spice Girls the seven dwarves. Yeah, that's pretty great. Um, we've got a cloak. The Mythical Society cloak is, oh yeah, let's see this thing. Look at this thing. It is a soft sweatshirt material. It's perfect for. But still capable of cloaking. It's perfect for walking out, walking out in public <laughs> without being seen and just being cozy in your house. It's kind of like a slanket. Is it but a not. blanket? But not, no, it's its own thing. It's a hooded blanket. It's a hooded blanket and it's um, it's the next quarterly thing. You got to uh, sign up for the third degree monthly plan by July 31st at mythicalsociety.com in order to receive one. It makes you warm in all the right places when you're just, how do, it's easy to get on, right? <laughs> I, I recommend getting out of your chair before you put it on, but. Um, Steve, you got another feud? Yeah, let's oh do, boy, do I. Let's do another one. A wounded Godzilla versus 2,000 pigeons. 2,000 pigeons. You know, if a pigeon, uh, well, what's the top speed of a pigeon? Because if it goes right for Godzilla's eye, he's blinded. Well, I think really what's, what we're considering here is the wound, the nature of the wound. Now, Where's pigeons, the wound? pigeons are notoriously dirty animals, right? And so if all 2,000 of those pigeons are like, fly to the wound, and they flew into the wound, and when they got in there, they just released their cloacas it, and let everything out, he would immediately go into septic shock. They, they, didn't, they didn't say wound, though, they said injury. It's, he pulled his groin. She said wounded. Wounded. She said wounded, and I, I, I think there's That's an like opening. That's like an open. There's, and, and if there's not an that, just go into his mouth. Fly into his mouth, he's wounded. He's <gasps> breathing heavy. <laughs> there are multiple answers to how fast pigeons fly, but one source says up to 125 yeah. miles per hour. They can pierce the skin. Uh, two, uh, we, uh, we don't yeah. even need a wound. 120 miles so an hour. So let's go with 2,000 pigeons versus normal, healthy Godzilla. Pigeons went all day, 120 miles, 2,000 of them, eventually by you get to like the 1,500 pigeon, it's gonna pierce his skin. The nasty, dirty pigeons, the last 500 get in there, septic shock, he comes down. You like ever a ton of bricks. I, I was gonna say they should go for the groin. For the, for the for the balls. He but doesn't never, have balls. I mean, Godzilla doesn't have balls? You ever seen lizard, a lizard, you picked a lizard up and seen balls? Where are the balls? <laughs> Where are lizards balls? They're like probably inside it and that doesn't count. <laughs> they gotta be hanging on the outside of your body to really count. I watched footage of a bat showering <laughs> itself in its own urine last night. Did it have balls? <laughs> Let me tell you, not only did it have balls, it had a wiener in between them too. Yeah. Like a. That's the hose for the shower. I mean, that thing is, you. sometimes you might forget that a bat is mammalian right. until you see it shower itself in its own urine. I mean, nothing but 
balls and wiener. It's interesting because birds don't have that. Most birds don't have penises at all. Yeah. Because they're like, I don't need this thing, I gotta fly. And if I had to choose between flying and a penis, <laughs> I mean, it's not an immediate decision. That's all I gotta say. That's only because presumably you <laughs> but, used your penis. But if I'm a bat, I have used it. If I'm a bat, I don't have to make that choice. So between me be just being continuing to be red or being a bat, I pick bat all day. Even though ironically, that's the thing you're most afraid of. But not if I was one. Doing this with your finger doesn't, it, it, it has no a, power it over me. It casts a spell on it you. It has no power over me. <laughs> you, I mean, I've been Jedi-ing your ass for years. <laughs> <laughs> Cloak yourself in mythicality with our newest society exclusive collectible item, a secret society cloak. Sign up for the third degree monthly plan by July 31st at mythicalsociety.com to get it.